folks, welcome back to Pilot Fun 101. And it's been a while. Uh, weather's been very different here in New York uh, in the last month or so. High winds, uh, that time of year where the cold air is going to meet the warm air from the north, from Canada, from the south. So it's been kind of crappy out, I, I guess I would say, uh, with the weather. Uh, plus, I had work going on, so I haven't had a chance to really do a video uh, I don't know, in about, I guess, three weeks or so. So today, uh, we are going to fly to Braden Air Park in Easton, Pennsylvania. Um, and the airport now, Orange County. Um, going to fly there, going to spend some time um, volunteering at the Fultzburg Emergency Squad. I've been volunteering there for almost 20 years as an EMT. Uh, so I'm currently the uh, president there for the last eight years. So I'll be there for most of the day to do some volunteer business. So I'm going to fly out there today. So I'd like to give a shout out. Uh, the person who is watching my channel, I don't want to say too many names, uh, but I've been emailing. He's been watching my channel about eight months, and he's out in Texas. His name is Ed. Um, he is 62 years young and always wanted to fly. Um, I never had a chance this whole time, and somehow he saw one of my videos and been following me for eight months now and uh, kind of inspired him to do his thing and he finally after 40 plus years got his private pilot's license so congratulations Ed thank you for the emails and support and I'm happy that I was able to push you forward the little things I do I don't do really anything fancy but just just to show you guys how easy and fun it really is to go up and have a good time and fly and enjoy the freedom of flight in the United States especially um, and it, you can do it it's not that expensive at the end of the day so congratulations again Ed I, I won't I promise I wouldn't say your last name but Ed from Texas 62 years young just got his private pilot's license um, after decades of wanting to do it and did not get a chance for whatever reason but Congratulations. Um, so head to Orange County right now. I got about a 10 minute ride. And I'm gonna do uh, obviously my walk around and do my run up. And you guys will be on board before I do all that. So I will see you guys in a few. Go to drive. Any questions, you guys know where to get me. PilotFun101 at gmail.com. See you in a bit. Hey folks, made it to the airport and I'm gonna walk in this hangar and see what's going on in here. I think there's a plane in here somewhere. Oh, yes there is, there it is. She's all covered up. Put the light on. The neighbor next to me is going up also. As you guys see here, uh, it's actually pretty bright in here, considering um, I do have it covered and I have it plugged in. And I'll open the door. Stuck in here. Those. Walk over here. Beautiful day today, so everybody will be flying. Okay, the door is up and this is what I do. I cover it, as you can see here, I plug it in, um, and that keeps that temperature very warm in the winter months, like this morning, it's uh, right now, it's about 35 degrees. Uh, but that's how I cover it up. The crop, the hub, the engine, plug it in, it stays nice and warm in this hangar. So there you have it there. And I get her, we'll do a walk around. Get her all taken apart um, here. And I don't usually close the whole entire thing. Um, I do when it gets very, very cold out. Uh, but it's just very easy 
the system to pop off in the company because everybody asks me what company it is this is the company of the preheating system right there all right folks so i'm gonna do my walk around here check everything out set up the cameras and i'll be right back with you guys Orange County Automated Advisory. Wind, calm, temperature, three, five, altimeter, three, zero, five, one, for run, listen for traffic. Anyway, 422 is now open for day VFR operation. Orange County traffic is three Delta Charlie, 10 crosswind, runway 04, Orange County. Orange County traffic, Diamond, one Papa Sierra, turning left base for runway four, Orange County. Orange County traffic, three Delta Charlie, turning left Damlin, runway zero four, Orange County. Okay, folks, welcome back. It's been a while since I uh, put a video up. Um, a lot of things going on, of course, in life, and then a couple of times went up. Sometimes you, you go up last Orange second County, and don't want cameras. Sierra, turning left final, runway four. Orange so uh, here we are today, beautiful day in Orange County, New York, clear skies, uh, 12,000 higher, and... Uh, very good all day and all night. So, like I said before, I'm going to fly into Braden Air Park in eastern Pennsylvania. Stay there um, all day. And fly, by, fly back tonight, most likely in the dark. Which is fine. So we're going to taxi on Charlie. Traffic. I'm going to be taxiing on Charlie to Alpha. Okay. So, um, school is very busy today. Um, I think most of their planes are out there to pack day over there, so. But here we are. Cameras all, should be all working. Orange County traffic on the 3 Delta Charlie, turning left at base, runway 04, Orange County. So, uh, congratulations to Ed again from Texas. For my viewers, uh, picked up one of my videos a while back, about eight months ago. And, um, followed me, and I guess, uh, hey, if Chris can do it, I can do it. And he did it, and congratulations. Uh, I think he got his private on Monday, I believe, Monday, Tuesday. His Tuesday was yesterday. I'm happy that working out. Orange County traffic, driving three Delta Charlie, turning final, runway 04. Full stop taxi back. So you got about, I think, Two planes in a pattern, both uh, diamonds from the school. So uh, take that into consideration. Orange County traffic, diamond, one Papa Sierra, clear of runway four, Orange County. So new runway, we're on here. Taxiway, runway zero four and two, uh, three, four. Zero four and two two. I can't hit that down for some reason. And I see an instructor out here, uh, probably gonna looking at a student doing some free touch and goes or full stops. Be getting a student certificate. Oh, there she is. 
and here comes the student. That's when the instructor is panicking the whole time. If there's a bounce, they usually scream and go around instead of trying to keep landing. Orange County traffic, time of 3 Delta Charlie, going around runway 04. And there he goes, going around. That's a good thing to do if you... Good decision. Can't get the plane. Yeah, I didn't like that, the way that looked, Liz. Sorry. No, take your time. And there you go. That's how it's supposed to be. No, for no pressure. Don't like your landing, especially as a student. You bounce once or don't feel comfortable, go around. Okay, so, handy dandy checklist I'm going to do. Hopefully everything's working here. Um, and I'll be right back, you guys. I haven't said that in a while. Okay. Checklist County, is County, complete. County, Charlie turning left downwind, runway 04, Orange County. And let's see here, we're going to November 4-3. So will go direct November 4-3. Wrong way. 4-3. Brayden Air Park, direct. A. Okay. Orange County automated advisory. Wind zero four zero at four. Temperature three five. Altimeter three zero five one. For runway, listen for traffic. Okay, trim is set at fifteen. Um, trim set for takeoff. Flap set for takeoff. We'll throw land lights on and strobes are on. Anti-collision light is on, and we'll put the fuel pump on. For, fuel pump on very shortly. Where the student is. There he is. So, oh, remember the Johnson's bar here. Better if you get it up before 80 miles an hour. Don't worry about how much runway you have left because uh, if you do have an issue with the engine or whatever, you have to land immediately. You can throw it down real quick, like in two seconds. But if you get it past over 80 miles an hour, it's a pain in the butt to get down and latch because it's that much more wind. Traffic, uh, Booney 8, 7 November, taking active 04 for departure, Orange County. Okay, fuel pump now coming on. We're good, good, good. Props for Ford, mixture is full rich. Orange County traffic, uh, series is 7 miles uh, south of the field on a practice on that fall approach. We're going to do a miss, Orange County traffic. 4,900 feet, so four flights tell me this. Orange County traffic, Charlie, 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 uh, and I have that plane on the runway inside. Booney. Alright, let's do it. Ease the power in. And full power. I just want to fly already. Alright, gear coming up. And gear light is on for up, full power. Beautiful day. Okay, five over flaps coming up. Trim down a little bit. And Orange County traffic, uh, bring left crosswind, uh, zero 04, Orange County. And Orange County traffic, uh, everybody's left downwind now for zero 04, Orange County. 
Right, thousand over, pull that power back. On a sky traffic, uh, Cirrus is small mount on the seal on the practice on that zero four approach. 25, 25, manifold pressure RPMs. That's a good, not a good climb out. We're gonna go to 45. Job, Delta Charlie. Orange County traffic, I'm going to depart the, uh, the pattern to the southwest, climbing through 2000, Orange County. Good day. Okay, that's done. Power settings is good, fuel pump is coming off. Let's check. Gauges look in the green and good, not sputtering. Orange County Trap 73 Delta Charlie, clear of runway 04, Orange County. Alright, Scott Traffic, you got uh, Diamond 4192 Charlie, about uh, five miles uh, north of the field. We'll be uh, entering the uh, 45 downwind for runway 4, Orange County. Orange County traffic, uh, series is about one and a half miles from the field. Uh, we're doing a fly over the runway. Orange County Experimental Departing Runway 4 left turn. I see the airplane flying over. Orange County traffic, you have a Diamond DA-20 on the 45 for the uh, left downwind. That nose down a little bit once well, make sure nothing's uh, coming at you. Out. Looking Orange good, County. looking good. Orange County traffic, uh, Cirrus is flying the, over flying the field at 1200, we're doing the miss, Orange County traffic. Traffic 4192 Charlie on a three mile 45 for the left downwind runway for Orange County. Quaker Town traffic, Pots, uh, Skyhawk 924 Lima Pop is uh, three miles. Beautiful, smooth, smooth over here today. Okay, everything's in the green, looking good, looking good. We'll pull that prop back a little bit more, slow us down a little bit. Here, approach, citation 556 five, Lima Sierra 95 for 6000 with uh, Fox Trust. 6052, center at 326. I'll start leveling off a little bit. All right. Okay. Air Canada 705, center at 326. Okay. Got New York approach in there. Smooth day. The last couple of days were windy and bumpy. New York approach, uh, Cirrus 3, It was bumpy down the ground. Three, Can't imagine up in the air. Stewart, VFR request. And then Mike Whiskey, is that correct? 3, 9 or 8, Mike Whiskey, Cirrus SR-22. 3, 9, Mike Whiskey, go ahead. All right, pull the power uh, back a little more. 500, like VFR flight following to Doyle Sound, uh, Delta, Yankee, Lima. Are you staying at 45? Affirmative 8, Mike Whiskey. I squawk uh, 0317, 0317. 0317, 8, Mike Whiskey. Beautiful up here, guys. So, let's put in... Uh, let's put in... 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 That's our next airport. Vector's visual runway 9-er and copy Fox Run. If anything's going on over there, 122.7. All right, leaving 5, direct Stewart. I'll monitor them. Stewart, leave us here. 
398 Mike Whiskey, radar contact 3 southeast of Stewart, 4,500 indicated, Dutch South Timeter is 3056. 56, thank you, 8 Mike Whiskey. Direct we have low power set in right now. We're at uh, 21 and a half over 24 and a half ish, and we're doing about 130 knots over the ground right now, uh, which is about 150 miles an hour. Not too bad for low power settings. New York departure, fly heading is 010, 290 knots. American 1140, climb maintain 17. She settles in here a little bit. Blue 632, 290 knots or greater. And the ball center, we're good with that. We're good with our heading. Uh, 237 is the course heading, and uh, we should move over just a tad. So, Jet 537, New York departure, climb maintain 17,000, or Carmel Grecky. Jet 632, Boston. So, crystal clear day. Let's see, this outside temperature, what's, what is that? 4,300, 38 degrees, so freezing. Let's use this roll trim by PC system. And let's get on course with it. A lot of the, a lot of the um, wing leveling systems, the Moody's are in op. And you can't really find parts, mine still works. So, um, looking, looking for autopilot, There's a, have you guys noticed in the last couple of weeks, um, a lot of things are coming out for us that are not crazy expensive, so I might pick out something shortly, don't know what I'm going to do yet. Garmin's dragging her feet a little bit on, the, on this model um, with the autopilot. Um, they just came out with something uh, Nine, three, Mike the Whiskey, flight deck, uh, touch grade, on two uh, uh, last couple of weeks, I believe, that's pretty reasonable, so it's basically the iPad. Here, it's basically this right here. So, obviously not the iPad, but that's what it's basically is, what Garmin's coming out with. So, I don't know, it cleans everything up a lot. And of course you have backups, whatnot, batteries and shit, but well, there you go. That's what it would be. So, always, always decisions. There's, but the good thing is, there's a lot of stuff coming out. You have traffic at 10 o'clock and 8 miles, appears to be northwestbound, 2,900 indicated. like I always tell you guys, who, who wants to, if you're flying around right now, and you kind of have an idea where you're at, um, but you say you want to divert to an airport because there's an issue, or you want to go somewhere else, you change your mind to go somewhere because, let's say, you're on in route to um, your airport for some reason, your no tans when you before you left were fine, and all of a sudden you check again, which you can check on the L3 here, that the airport's closed. Well, you got to find out, go somewhere else. So, uh, who? wants to get your blotter out right now as you're flying, VFR, so you have to be looking out the window. Pretty much at all times, right? So who wants to be like this, trying to find out where you're at with the blotter, 
and a pen. You know, where you're exactly New York Department your location is. Um, you know, you got to try to get your blotter out, try to draw a line if you are lost. you got to try to find VORs, and then obviously you draw a line, draw two lines, and then you, wherever, wherever it connects in the middle is where your location is. All right, and then, five, five, six, you know, tower advisor, use you your compass, seven, and, seven, uh, seven. obviously heading in the quit indicator yeah, to where you're going, direction-wise. Let me know what you want to do. But look at all this stuff. Which is fine. It's good to have this stuff, but who's, you know, you're supposed to be looking out the window and BFR and, uh, you know, you got to put this thing over and try to find out where you are exactly. That'd be annoying. I mean, it's, it's, it's what they used back in the, in the, back a long time ago. Actually, up until about 10 years ago, I guess. But then, they had a bunch of the held, held, handheld GPSs that came out, stuff like this, and the handhelds. That came reasonable price for GA pilots. So, with the auto, with the um, iPad and the flight app, I can find out exactly where I'm at, when I want, where I'm going, check no tams, check weather, check um, traffic, um, which my L3 transponder does all that for me. Limerick, 6274, New York. And split screen. Like right there, I have the terrain advisory on right now, um, which is cool. Traffic, METARs, no TAMs, put in the, uh, I have Montgomery in right now. Um, runway 22 Pappy is unavailable, so stuff like that. And if I want to go and put in the airport where I'm going, which I forgot what it was, November 4-3. Um, November 4-3. Alright, nothing's there. So they're, they're good. So you have a lot of things. Weather on this type of a transponder, which is really cool because it's right there, split screen, you can move the traffic over here, what weather over here, um, and it also works well with the iPad, um, or flight app, there's a lot of apps out there, but it works well. But the point of the story, again, like I always bring up, do you want to do this? You put your knee up and try to find out where you are and having your hand on the yoke and trying to find out, you know, make sure you're, you're, you're straight and level, you're not turning or banking, especially if you're in turbulent air. Or do you want to just look at your app that you have? Um, I like four flight and be less stressed. Now you need to know where you are in case this goes out. But with the four flight app package, you also can put it on your phone, which also works on the L3 transponder. And if I lose all those two, then I have my GPS that's in the dash here. Uh, GSN, uh, GNS 480, Garmin. I put some heat on in here, a little chilly. So, those are all the things I try to make you guys aware of what's out there um, and how easy it could be to do this. And it's, it's, it's awesome to be able to go to the airport and take off. And the expense behind it, I mean, the Mooney Complex airplanes are always going to be expensive, more expensive than a fixed wing, depending on what it is. Well, compare this with a Cessna 172, probably about the same. But you, you, you get a Cessna 150. Nothing in um, Sussex is over there. So the next airport I'm going to tune in is Blairstown, which is 123.0, and I think that's Braden's uh, same frequency, so I'll keep that in and monitor that channel. Let's let's look. Let's see what Braden is. And Braden is, yes, 1230, so it's the same. But look how fast that was. Um, to, to find a frequency and obviously elevation. I mean, you, again, you can't pull this out. You should be, if, you're, if you are using this, you should open to the page where your flight plan is. You know, disregard to stay at 13. Or what your flight plan was uh, when it, before you take off to draw a line and figure out where you're going. Um, but it's good to have the technology for us. The wing leveling system's holding out pretty well. 
right now. It's a little off course. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check out Garmin and Aspen. Three and Echo, we got traffic coming off runway six. Are you able to maintain three? Um, evolutions. Um, that's also a good thing it can do. It works well with the transponder. So, like, there's so much stuff. I mean, you can pull the trigger, it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Everything's in the green. Flying over some good stuff here. Got a bunch of phone calls. I don't know what the hell going on. Alright, 209 Romeo Julian Eric Fox with our coat. No real traffic, that's the way you 10 miles to the north, we'll be over flying. And there's a transponder Fox, right there. I'm trying to pay attention where I'm going here too, guys, so, but there's a transponder, like I was saying, you can flip the screens over and do a lot of things. And it works very well with four plates. Endeavor 5052, left to right, Grecky. Beautiful out there today. Beautiful, beautiful out there today. New York Airport, Niagara Mark 7 in the Victor. Here's the first Clear skies. The, uh, northeast. And, uh, Fox Number 5052, normal speed direct Grecky. And verify you got 17. Victor for runway 1. Number 5052, contact Boston 1340. So we're 32 miles out. We're going to descend shortly. Um, field field evolution. New York 453 at Echo with a request. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, we get it swung around on this hole at Del Kingston. We'd like to go back and do the ILS uh, 6 again. It's 1400. Starting from Canty. Right. When able, uh, 397, uh, and you add 1,000 feet at your field elevation. Right, so I can't say it. Can't say that word today. I don't know why. Yes, sir, we'll see you at 35. Thank you. That trap's rolling right now. Always add 1,000. Alpha. Alpha. 34, 33 to our gale. for midfield at Nike for. All right, so let's start heading down a little bit. And she's flying great, doing really well. 130 knots, low power settings. Traffic Skyline 7 to 8 to November 3. So we're going to pull the power back a little bit more. 21. Plane to do it. New York departure, Mooney 405, my Fox. And then start descending. It got a little, little, little turbulent between um, 35 and 2500. So you want to stay in the yellow. I mean, no, don't stay in the yellow. You want to stay in the green with turbulent air. Planes are, the planes made to handle turbulence. A41 heavy fly heading is 010, climb maintain 17,000. 453, Mike Foxtrot, New York departure, radar contact, maintain 3,000. Mike Fox up to 3,000. Or that heat in here. Mike Foxtrot, VFR traffic, 11 o'clock, 4 miles orbiting out there. All right, 3, text my... Never, never text and fly, folks. 3 at Echo, the traffic at 2 o'clock in 2 miles northeast, bound out of 1,800, going to 3,000, he's a Mooney. Three eight echoes looking. Uh, we got a blip on the box. No visual. Couple, couple people check on at the same time. Cat eight forty one heavy fly heading of three five three six zero. Climb maintain one seven thousand. Lombardi A three eight climb maintain one seven thousand. Still in the green. We're not bumpy. Skyline seven two eight to November ten five three. Mike Fox right left direct weird. Left weird to Mike Fox. And uh, since we're very close to Blairstown, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch tanks now. I'm not to worry about it later. Uh, we got about a 15 minute ride, so fuel pump's coming on, and we'll switch tanks to my right tank. Density altitude. Three echo, you have that traffic. Golf hit down. Echo, we got uh, we got a display on the box. We don't have a visual. You're 600 below. Hi, right, Roger. On your standby. Wakes, Blairstown 
an advisory only airport. The FRO. United 2310, direct Ruiz. Contact Boston on 1340. Zero. Sky condition. Clear. Temperature 2 Celsius. Altimeter 3053. Density altitude missing. Say 41 heavy climb, maintain 17,000. Get that RPM at 24 and a half. Direct neon climb, maintain. A little chilly out. Three, Want to stay in that green operating temperature for the cylinder temp. Five three Mike Fox Road traffic nine o'clock half mile west on VFR thirty five hundred. Mike Fox looking. Never had a problem with this aircraft uh, getting overheating. I got four people in here. Thirty eight three eight turn left direct Ricky. Um, usually going to. Say forty one Maryland. Ocean City. Um, 34, 33 in New York it's, you know, 85 degrees out, 80 degrees out, full power, it gets, it'll get up there, so I just shallow my climb a little bit, never have a problem with this aircraft. Oh, we're in the green, descending. Alright, contact Boston on 1340, let me know your speed, 340. And I can see Phillipsburg from here over to Ridge. Hey, 41 heavy normal speed. So I'll be going there today, uh, Boston, some volunteer time. Been doing that for 20 years, uh, Phillipsburg Emergency Squad. So, figure I'll fly to my hometown airport when I was a child growing up. Short runway, 1900. So, make sure your power settings are, are in order and you're and your traffic skyline center set up. One two zero Romeo Julia. And you got nail those numbers. AC forty three thirty nine one six thousand center thirty two six. With the traffic helicopter. Three eight echo traffic no factor. Three eight echo traffic no factor. All right, so I'm gonna pay Three attention to radiance frequency. I don't have to monitor uh, New York approach. Wings traffic to us, 47 single papa, left downwind, close traffic, wings. There's some birds. Uh, but this ridge to our right, uh, you guys really can't see it. Um, you can follow that ridge all the way to Orange County. Wings traffic to us, 47 single papa, where are you on downwind? So I see some smokestacks from the plants down here, and uh, they're pretty much straight up. So very little wind. Tenders, traffic, Skyline 728. Got a plane on the ground at Blairstown. November 172, Charlie King. First set, Unicom, Cherokee 578, radio set. Loud and clear. 5-7-8, thanks. Miles traffic, that's the 152, turn final, only 1-4 miles. Alright, we'll keep descending, pull the power back a little bit more. Obviously, as you get lower, your manifold pressure goes up. I'm going to take the ring leveling system off. Wings traffic, Sirius 47, take a pop, I'll lost base, six wings. Ten minutes traffic, Skyline 728 to November, four mile final, runway 8, Penridge. Wings traffic, Sirius 617, Delta Alpha is entering left downwind, six, has the base traffic in sight, number two to the field. Wings traffic. Hey, a little bumpy down here. Like one eight will be the better runway to use.
traffic, straight 617 Delta Alpha, turning left, base 6, number 220, point traffic. Base traffic, straight 617 Delta Alpha, so final six. Okay, we're at 2500, we'll continue our descent. Mammoth traffic, Skyhawk is on a six mile final, doing the GPS approach to runway 32. Will not be landing, going missed. <laughs> Soon these farmers will be in their fields already for corn and for uh, any other things that are going to be growing. Very shortly, and uh, hopefully, uh, and I can't wait for the uh, trees to be green instead of gray. This airport's always hard to find to this day. Still can't find it. Okay, landing lights gonna come on. Bouncy down here, as you guys can see. 7 to 18 November, we'll go to the end. We do our gumps. Gas undercarriage, make sure prop speed. Seat belts, all the fun stuff very shortly. We don't need any of that stuff yet. We're getting close. Once I get down a little bit more. And pull that power back a little more. Traffic, uh, Mooney 8th of November is about five miles out to the northeast, inbound 418, coming in on 45. Braden. Blairstown traffic, Skyhawk is turning left crosswind for runway 7, Blairstown. Alright, we'll stay right around here for now. Get it slowed down, and we'll drop the gear. There's a lot of farms down there. We're in Pennsylvania. On the other side of that river, which will be sh very shortly, is New Jersey. Pennsylvania, New Jersey. I have to fly through this smoke over here. Someone's burning something down there. I'm going to get on a nice 45. Traffic, just a five box golf over Solberg view R and on the view R eight. All right. So let's get the gear. Got to pull up a little bit to get it slowed down, like usual. I don't like to go slow. Nothing's in the way of the gear bar, Johnson's bar. Get that white arc. And come on. And gear coming down. Pedridge traffic. I just locked that in. Parting runway T. Downwind, west. And the strong one flaps. Three miles in the field. Turn the heat off, that's for sure. Blaze out now, it's now out turning left base. We're on my seventh blaze now. Traffic here, come out today, come right back to the west. It's a uh, mile 45 from the run one coming to. Oh, have the airport in sight. Oh, a little 
fire down there. So gas is on undercarriage, mixture's coming in full rich, and prop can come in now full forward. Stay right here. At the airport. Hey, Braden traffic. Uh, Mooney's on a three mile 45. Been still left downwind for 1 8, Braden. So, you know, traffic war 6 6 whiskey on the left downwind only 1 1 to film. Is. Sober traffic at the five box golf center and left downwind to runway three zero seven seven. Well no traffic experimentals ten miles northeast and okay, gas undercarriage mixture prop watch our speed or flaps down. And Braden traffic, but he's midfield left downwind for one eight, Braden. Traffic here, 475 single pop out left downwind, post traffic, 6th wing. Somerset traffic, that's uh, 5 Fox Golf, left downwind, runway 30, Somerset. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, watch our speed, seatbelts are on. Let's get her down. Traffic, we left base now. 1 8, Braden. Around the solar farm we go. Watch our speed. Somerset. We're 500 AGL. Hey, Braden. Traffic, we're just running final for 1 8, full stop, Braden. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, speed, seatbelts are on. How's the trim looking? Okay, one more swipe. Blair Central, campus departing the It's three miles out to the southwest, and bell landing on way one, two. Everybody's for final one eight full stop right in. Pull back, brakes. Much weight possible in the back brakes for you. Back uh, wheels for braking. All right, perfect. All right, Carpy going right in. Do you want any dust to get in the carburetor from the runway?
But turn around. Everybody in traffic, many backpacks on 18, right in. Seven forty now. All right, folks, there you have it. My home town as a kid, airport. We are again. So any questions, please let me know. Um, you can email me at pilotfund 11 at gmail.com. Uh, Ed, congratulations again on your private pilot certificate. Stay flying. Everybody know your minimums, what you can do, what you don't want to do, what you feel comfortable with, and you'll never have an issue. Second guess yourself, weather, winds, don't fly, because I would rather say I would rather be flying than in the air and tell myself I'd rather be on the ground. Always keep that in mind. All right, folks, thank you again for flying along. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel and you can always hit that bell and get automatic notifications when I upload a video. And bring in traffic, pretty clear, 1 8 bring. And. So follow me on Facebook. I post some pictures on there. If I'm not flying or doing a video, I post some stuff on there about some stuff. But so check that out. Facebook, Pilot Fund 101. All right, guys. Until next time, fly safe, be safe. See you on a reverse trip in the dark.